Hello everyone, my name is Favor. I'm currently a master's student at the University of Glasgow and in this video I'm going to be taking you on a tour around the three major kinds of accommodation that are available for international students in the United Kingdom. So the first kind of accommodation is a private student accommodation and I currently reside in a private student accommodation and I'm going to be taking you on a quick tour around the private student accommodation. There are a good number of private student housing providers. The popular ones include Students Roost, Unite Students and Uniaco. Booking early helps you get best prices. My house rent currently ranges from £120 to £135 weekly. The process is pretty seamless and majorly involves you booking your choice housing on their website while rooms are still available. It may also involve you making a refundable deposit payment to secure your space. And then you can book a space even before you arrive in UK. If you're confused on making a decision, I just suggest checking out reviews on student crowd to filter your choices. My room is en suite which means it has its own bathroom. It's quite spacious and comes with a double door wardrobe. It's also got lots of cabinets and drawer spaces. It's all bills inclusive so I don't have to worry about extra costs on Wi-Fi, gas or electricity. Um, it also has a great view but it's majorly because I stay on the fifth floor. Dating is also included in the rent, so I don't have to pay separately for it. It's got its own table and chair that helps me with reading and studying. Now to the bathroom, which is also located in the room. The door has its own coat hanger. There's a nice shower area and a very good and running functional water closet. There's also the bathroom sink and another bathroom mirror. So that is pretty much the entire space that is available within the bathroom, which is also located in the room. And this is the outlook of the room with the bathroom. Moving on to the kitchen. The kitchen is a communal area in the flat and I share the flat with four other persons. So this is the space available. There's also the great view over the window and across the road. The kitchen has a microwave, a bread toaster and an electric kettle. This might not always be the case in all private housing, so I just had to put that out there. There's also an electric stove with about four burner spaces and an oven, so that's what we cook with and the heat extractor as well. There are a good number of kitchen drawers and cabinets as well, which we split and share amongst ourselves, so that doesn't cause much of a problem. The downside might be having to share such a space with lots of people, as you can see from what's going on in the dining area here. The kitchen also has its own sofa and additional chairs for comfort and a fire blanket in case of an emergency. We sadly have only one fridge and have to allocate each drawer space to one person per flat. Um, the door becomes the common area. <laughs> And the same thing is equally applicable for the freezer as well. So the laundry room, which is located in another building in my accommodation, it's run by Circuit Plus and it costs £3.30 for a wash circle and £1.80 to dry. There are 18 washers and dryers in all. The major pros of staying in the private student's accommodation, as you can see, is one, it's on suites. I like that. Sweet. One is on sweet. You get your bathroom and your toilet in the same private area as you. You get to use a, a, a common kitchen area with other people. The kitchens are usually big, usually in quotes, depending on your private housing provider. And three, your parcels are delivered at the reception and there's always someone that is available to pick it up for you or to sign in for you. Four, you also get to have access to other facilities depending on where your house is located. So for me, my house is located close to the city center and I have access to the city center Cons of staying in a student's accommodation one you get to share a kitchen space with multiple people even though you're not sharing a bathroom or a private area you're sharing a kitchen space so sometimes not everybody would be as neat as my flatmates are not everybody would be as accommodating as my flatmates are so you get to share a kitchen space and that could be a little bit problematic to the fact that sometimes your private housing provider may not be located close to the university so for me because I do not stay close to the university, I stay at the city center, I always have to take an additional 
transportation means to school either i go with the subway or i go via the bus but thankfully my house is located just about 12 minutes from the subway station and it's located just about five minutes from the bus station so that makes it a little bit easier and some people decide to walk to school so that could be you as well so that's another con of staying in a private student accommodation and i think another major con is the fact that you cannot stay if you if you have family so they can't stay with you in an ensuite room in a private student accommodation so you would either have to go for a studio apartment or you have to go for a larger form of accommodation or you'd, you'd have to go for a larger form of facility provided by the private student accommodation and sometimes that could be expensive now we go to the next kind of accommodation which is student halls or university provided accommodation the Maclay's residence is mainly for postgrad students. University halls are somewhat different. They are on suite rooms, older buildings, and newly renovated rooms. There's a large reception area with free to use computer. There's also a small library that is available for the residents and ready access to University of Glasgow printing facilities. And they also have shelves. Yeah. Do you want me to show you? Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. So, this is the kitchen. Look at another one. Oh. So, this is the kitchen. Wow, and it's way different from the other one. Mm -hmm. When did you book? It was in the month of March, April, the day they opened up the website for the university accommodation. Oh, that's nice. Is it on Swiss? It is. Oh, nice. So it's fully on Swiss. Like for. Uh, my wardrobe, have okay, so she has, yeah, they have, have more, yeah. yeah, so I have more wardrobe space. wardrobe space, and they are mirrored. So this is the laundry room, um, they also use circuits plus, but there's a huge difference of 260, 140. This is... This is the room space. <laughs> okay. So this is the kitchen. How many are you? Five of us. Five. So this is the kitchen, and there's a nice view as well. Yeah. garden. <laughs> so this is the toilet. You just one toilet. Just one. Yes. Yeah. This one and then let's go. Just switch off. <laughs> so this is the bathroom. And all five of them share this. I think the major pros of the university student accommodation is the fact that it's so close to the university but if you do not have classes every day this might not really be a factor for you but if you have classes every day this might be something you want to check out another pro or 
of the university is the fact that you have additional facilities available while not every private housing accommodation will provide additional facilities like the gym students provided accommodation by the university is a little bit different and then you have access to the gym at discounted prices or you have access to other facilities at largely discounted prices or no price whatsoever so that is another factor you may want to consider the major cons of staying in the students in, in the university students accommodation is the fact that the rooms are pretty smaller two it might be more expensive to get an ensuite accommodation so while an ensuite accommodation is readily available in a private student's housing in a university student accommodation it might not be readily available to get an ensuite accommodation at a cheaper price so you can't get an ensuite accommodation at the university but sometimes it's quite expensive or more expensive than private students housing and the third point is the fact that you know with family you still can't stay in a student or you have to go for a larger space a more expensive place which is sort of more problematic and another kind of staying in the students hall is also the fact that you get to share more common areas with your flatmates so you're sharing a bathroom a private area you're also sharing a kitchen space with your flatmates and sometimes there are about five to six persons in the same flat and that could be a wee bit problematic so these are also things you want to consider. Finally, the third kind of housing is private housing or as I like to call it, regular housing. So we talked about private student accommodation, university student accommodation and the third point is private housing. So these are houses that you can rent from people and let's go on the tour around this. Hi. Hi! I like your crops. Thank you. Kit is the living room. My cut. The chin is so big. Yeah. Um, and you have all these drawers to yourself. Like, oh, like some of us are sharing. I've never been used to have them. And there's a the mirror. Yeah. This is actually the <laughs> Oh, it's the Jesus. <laughs> oh, this so is this nice. Is the and she has all the space to herself so yeah. for those of us who are in student accommodation and sharing i'm sorry That's okay quite spacious i guess this is the bedroom to herself it's just the bath there's and no just the... where do you do your laundry the, the washing machine then we so all... for sorry, laundry yeah. do you pay yeah. so your laundry is free like you just pay with your lights if you use <laughs> Like so you just pay no like this one um so my house is gas central heating here yeah? okay so um if there's a boiler here okay this is the boiler so i can turn it on and then turn on the heating and then this um in-house display helps me monitor like what i'm spending in a day oh. so so far i've spent like one pound and three pence oh. so we have like electricity and then gas so basically gas i just have to turn it on and then yeah so my bill comes in like two folds i have the electricity and then i have that as you can see from the tour and as you can see from the pros and cons this is more suitable for people who are coming in families or people who are coming with families people who are looking out for other reasons apart from the reasons that are highlighted which may constitute the pros and cons of why you are living in a student's account with the university or in the private housing provider so if you're looking up any other reason why you're looking up for accommodation the private housing is your best bet so you get to you know have your own space have your own kitchen area have your own um, have your own bathroom area have your own accommodation whatsoever and the good thing about this sort of housing is there are also housing where it's not just you who is living there you get to share the accommodation so this is also another kind of accommodation but it's also a private housing so this time around you're living in a two-bedroom apartment with somebody else who is your housemate but this time around it's just the two of you who are sharing the kitchen space or who are sharing the bathroom area so it's still similar to private housing the major advantages are you get your own private space it's more suitable for people who are coming with dependents basically and then it's also more suitable more affordable for people who are coming with dependents and seeking out places to live the cons like um, the person right in mentioned include might not be easy to get the fact that it might also be a quite a distance from the university so which increases your cost of transportation but if you do not have classes every day this might not be something that you have to really consider or really bother. and yes yeah, so with this we have come to the end of today's video did you find this video useful whatsoever let me know in the comment section also hit the subscription button if you haven't subscribed i 
what accommodation would you like to stay are you planning on coming to the university of glasgow what are the issues or concerns that you may have let me know all of this in the comments that section down below bye for now